Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgium Beer Brothers channel, Cedric here from Antwerp and today we are going to talk about something quite exclusive. Uh, we are hopping from one pink label to the other pink label but today we are talking about a fruity beer and this is Vedette Rosé. Um, you might have heard about Vedette, Vedette is sort of the younger, hipper beer uh, from the Duvel Mortiat brewery but they mainly specialize in let's say lighter beers they have several uh, very nice ones they have the Vedette Extra Pilsner they have a Vedette IPA they used to have a Session IPA which was 2.7% and they also have a Vedette White Wheat Beer now this beer the Vedette Rosé is a variation on that wheat beer. Now I'm very lucky to have gotten my hands on this. Uh, a friend of mine actually shipped me a four pack of, was it a six pack? No, it was a four pack uh, from France. He got it on some shady website. Um, because this beer is actually produced solely for the Asian market and mainly for the Chinese market actually. You will see that on the label here I don't know if I can show you but this is a completely Chinese label before we go to the tasting and the beer we might want to talk about the fact that this is brewed solely for the Asian market so that means that it is not available in Europe however it is currently still being brewed here in Belgium here in Flanders even Every year, Duvel Mortiat ships about 120,000 to 200,000 hectoliters to Asia. 200,000 hectoliters is somewhere between 6 and 10 percent, about 8 or 10 percent, of the annual revenue of Duvel Mortiat. That means that Asia is a very large market for this brewery. Now, currently it's all brewed in Belgium and exported by container ship. And of course, this results in quite steep shipping costs, uh, long delivery time. So between the order and the delivery, there's quite some time, uh, way more than, than currently uh, locally. And this also results in a huge carbon footprint. Of course, the combination of uh, slow service, huge carbon footprint, uh, I think it's about 4.8 million of car uh, kilograms of carbon dioxide being yeah, blown in the air just for transport and pro uh, production alone. And of course, that shipping cost because we are talking like 5 to 15 containers per week, uh, if not more by these days. Therefore, Duvel Mortiat just bought the majority share in Chaba Brewery in Tianjin, uh, which I'm sure I'm butchering, but about two hours uh, drive from Peking. They spent 30 million or close to 30 million euros on this, and they plan to invest even more to scale the capacity up from about 120,000 hectoliters to 500,000 hectoliters a year. To put this in perspective, the total production of Duvel Mortiat was 2.2 million hectoliters last year and 1.4, 1.2 to 1.4 million hectoliters of that 2.2 million is being brewed in their main brewery in Brendonk here in Antwerp. So to scale up a foreign brewery to 500,000 hectoliters a year, that is a huge, huge step. Now, don't worry, they're not gonna lose any people here in Belgium because they're actually still hiring. They almost doubled their capacity and they will be brewing more next year and they already had over a hundred employees in China um, they also didn't buy the Chaba brands they just bought the brewery so 
no portfolio, no beers, just the building, the pipes, um, the brewing equipment. Duvel is planning on owning the entire brewery in China by 2024 and we have seen them do that before like Beneficio del Ducato uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere because we did a video about them as well was also acquired in parts first a minority share then the majority share and then the 100% um, so they already announced this and I will link to a, a cool article in unfortunately Belgian newspaper so written in Dutch but a article about this takeover and an interview with CEO Michel Mortgat. Back to this beer like I said this is actually the wheat beer the, the Vedette White with added fruit juice. In this case the rosé has added uh, raspberries but it also has two little brothers um, because a bit later this one was uh, introduced somewhere in June 2020 I believe um, or in March 2020 a bit later on they also introduced the same beer but with elderflower instead of raspberries and I believe the youngest beer in this series is kiwi sea salt I have been privileged to taste these they're all quite all right um, like I said I had a four pack of these I handed them out to my mom to some friends no one understands why this isn't being sold in Europe because they're all crazy about it and if you want to try this I'll just say before I open this up you can because yes it is exclusively uh, exclusively sold on the Asian market however if you visit the Duvel Mortjet brewery in Brendonk next to the brewery and you will start and finish your tour there is the Duvel Depot the, the brewery bar as you will and they have a limited supply of this one and its two brothers and maybe even some other exclusive beers uh, and they even carry some American beers as well. So head over there and have a taste. Just a tip if you're from the neighborhood or you want, you're want, you willing to travel for your beers, go do so. But hurry up. So, <coughs> unfortunately, I don't have the exact right glass for this. This is a vase by Vedette. Uh, I think I can throw this around and it will never break because it looks like reinforced glass however normally this one is uh, served in a Vedette flute which I don't have I do have a Schuf flute but hey hashtag proper glassware as Thomas Hogan would say so I'm drinking this from a albeit not right Vedette glass softly carbonated also as usual a lovely branded bottle cap with the Vedette Rosé and the star in pink uh, where usually this has Vedette Extra Blonde and a red star absolutely love that you know I'm a sucker for branding <coughs> I would tell you what's on the label but unfortunately it's all in Chinese and I, I don't read Mandarin something about putting your own photo on the bottles sure fun thing with this beer is it's only a 3.9 percent ABV so it's rather light this isn't the youngest of beers because ironically this has traveled to China and back probably uh, because yeah, shady website and all but I am surprised to see that this is still quite carbonated uh, and it hasn't gone off now what do we see here we see a yeah actually a rosé a wine color um, it's orangey pinkish 
quite clear quite carbonated and some pinkish white foam uh, the smell is quite clear it's all all raspberry um, now I'm not the biggest fan of raspberry but mostly in beers I do kind of like it and in yogurt um, and I do think that this is the good kind of raspberry so let's have a taste Hello. I do find it funny that this is quite clear for a wheat beer so cheers first impression um, yeah raspberry of course raspberry all the way however not too much it's even kind of watery um, so it doesn't have that really full mouthfeel of a wheat beer on the other hand I do think that they made the right decision of um, well, quote unquote watering it down because you don't want that syrupy feeling like you have when there's a wheat beer with some raspberry juice and syrup so it does taste like this is juiced and not syrup <coughs> a rather pleasant amount of carbonation and even though it's rather light it still has a pretty strong taste very very refreshing and it's quite sweet quite sugary but it does have that uh, tiny sour detail from the raspberries so very refreshing very thirst quenching as well despite being quite sweet yeah and even the aftertaste is of course raspberry and it does remind me a bit of grenadine as we say um, like pomegranate syrup uh, we often add to water some people add it to their beers those people have to be shot um, <coughs> those people have to be punished but hey they go de couleur right um, yeah the aftertaste is quite thin but still like I said quite thirst quenching very refreshing so again this is a, a well it's not gonna be my favorite ever but I would recommend this again on a warm and sunny day like on the terrace after a hike or with a barbecue it's another fruity beer it's a sweet beer so I would recommend this with salty foods with strong foods um, like with a barbecue some people would call this a women's beer I disagree um, actually I don't really like to think in men and women and differences because everyone just likes what they like but yeah this is a great light fruity beer 3.9 percent ABV so an awesome beer if you still have to drive and you want to drink one or two um, or you just don't want to get drunk I'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna enjoy this a bit further because this will probably be the last one <laughs> that I'm tasting in a long 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 time um, so yeah as usual thank you guys so much for watching thank you for bearing with me for I believe 115 reviews um, if you want to see more hit the bell icon uh, you'll get notified whenever I upload something if you cross that and if you want to know anything else just comment if you have any questions let me know and I will get back to you cheers all right um, scoring let's call it a tree solid tree yeah six out of ten <coughs> cheers you guys see you next time <coughs>